Nearly 3,000 people died at the World Trade Center on 9-11, but the list of victims keeps growing. 70,000 men and women worked at the ruins at Ground Zero. Many now suffer from illnesses officially linked to the toxic smoke and dust, including respiratory and gastric diseases. Scott Pelley brought some of them together and found out, for them, 9-11 is a day that never ended. The World Trade Center is still claiming lives. People have had their lives shortened. People have lost their fathers, their, their mothers, to cancers, to lung diseases, anything that you can imagine, blood-borne diseases. People are still dying. John Gallagher was a New York City fire they captain on 9-11. He's among thousands of Ground Zero workers being treated by the World Trade Center Health Project at the State University of New York, Stony Brook. John Field was a construction worker who volunteered after the attack. And sooner or later, we're going to outnumber the 2,751 lives that were lost to senseless violence. If you did a, a, a show in a year from now, where are those people that I interviewed last year? One of them won't be here because they died from 9-11 related illness. Any chest pain? No. Those illnesses include respiratory and gastric diseases such as gastroesophageal reflux, known as GERD. It was only this year that the federal government guaranteed medical coverage for these illnesses, but not coverage for cancer. Tyree Bacon is a former courthouse officer. Um, I have GERD, have the sinusitis, the rhinitis, I've had a sinus surgery already. Um, I, I just, I have to laugh at the hypocrisy. We all heard in the beginning, the air was good, it's okay. Oh. Yeah. Now that very same government saying, well, cancer's not part of it. You gotta be kidding me, you know? Well, there are scientists who've looked at this who said, we can't draw a direct link to your exposure to all of these toxins from the World Trade Center to any kind of cancer. It takes more research, it takes more evidence. Yeah, we'll be dead uh, by then. See, now you're coming, in my, you, you're coming in my wheelhouse now. Well, let, okay. let me hear about yeah. it. I don't need a doctor with 12 years of college um, telling us that 9-11 didn't cause these cancers. If you took every toxin that was airborne that day, that following day, those following weeks, and put them individually in a bottle, you'd have skull and crossbones on the same harmful of swallowed. You think if there is scientific doubt, then these people should have the benefit of the doubt? Yes, yes. yes. definitely. Well, yeah. what's the worst case scenario? You help somebody who got cancer who came to the aid of this country. That's the worst case scenario. 15,000 Ground Zero workers are still being treated for chronic diseases. And Scott will have more on 9-11 this week here on the CBS Evening News and on 60 Minutes.